So we need to touch on one more thing here with CloudFront, and that is invalidation. So um, up here we have um, this Keiko image, which is being served up by CloudFront, but let's say we want to replace it, okay? So in order to replace images on um, CloudFront, um, it's not as simple as just replacing them in S3. So here we have Keiko, right? And this is the current image. And so let's say we wanted to re replace that. And so I have another version of Keiko here. I'm just going to upload it here. And that's going to uh, replace the existing one. Okay. And uh, so I'm just going to make sure that the new one is here. So I'm just going to right click, or sorry, I'm going to hit open here, make sure it's set to public. And then I'm just going to click the link here. And uh, it's still, now it's the new one, right? So here we have the new one. And if we were to go to the CloudFront distribution and refresh, it's still the old image, okay? Because in order for um, these new changes to propagate, you have to invalidate the old uh, the old cache, okay? And that's where invalidations come into play. So to invalidate the old uh, cache, we can go in here to create invalidations and we can put a wildcard to expire everything or we could just expire Keiko. So, uh, for Keiko, she's at forward slash enterprise D. So we would just paste that in there. And we have now created an invalidation. And this is going to take five five minutes. Um, I'm not going to uh, wait around to show you this because I know it's going to work. But I just want you to know that if you update something in order, uh, order for it to work, you have to create invalidations. Okay.